Okay, um, so we, we had a beer last night. And we but what, what shall we do night. today? We had three beers last night. Three? <laughs> was it four? But what shall we do today? I think we should go to a guitar show. Oh, you that's a good idea. Is there any around here? <laughs> yeah, there. I think there is one uh, somewhere. It's an hour away, but that's okay. I have a car. Perfect. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, we're going. Shall we go? So it's Twitch TV on the road. Let's do it. Let's okay, go. good. See you there. <laughs> <laughs> How was the accent? Not stilted at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Ed here. Hi, Hugh here. Welcome to Tone Twins TV and our first show on the road. Where are we, Ed? We're in the Netherlands, not too far from Amsterdam. And we're here at the vintage guitar show Wienendal. Which is apparently the biggest vintage guitar show in oh, Europe. Wow. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, go on, Ed. Let's go.
Okay, well, here we are with Miriam Nevers. I got that right? Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, who is the organizer of this show? Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us about uh, this? You do it twice a year? We do it twice a year, and we've done it. I was just actually counting this time. I think it's the 28th year that we've been doing this, so that oh, would mean yeah. it's like the 56th show yeah, yeah. that we've done. So you started doing this when you were like four? I was like really young, <laughs> not that young, but uh, much younger than I am now at least. Um, it was my dad who started yeah, all of it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I took over after him, but he started it like 28 years ago. Yeah. He was looking for a vintage guitar. Yeah. Finally he got to an age where he could afford a vintage guitar and he was looking for a special one, I don't know exactly which one. But he couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. And then he thought, you know, then I need to get the guitars to come to me. Yeah. So that's where it started. He mm -hmm. um, arranged for a small market. Mm -hmm. Guitars were just on the floor. Yeah. There was nothing fancy. Uh, to find his guitar, and he did. Uh, so he actually thought of, okay, this was once, now I'm yeah. done. I found my guitar. Um, but then people kept asking, well, can you do it again? Because it was so yeah. much fun. Yeah. And that's sort of how it started. And now yeah. we're 20 years later. Wow. I was there as a young lady to help him out mm -hmm. with the first one. Yeah. I've now taken over because it's too much for him. But mm -hmm. he's still around. Um, and and is, it true, it. is it true to say this is the biggest vintage guitar show in this Europe? This is the biggest uh, vintage guitar show in Europe, yeah. Okay, so which months do you run it every year? We have it um, in March and September, mm -hmm. usually around the 20th, third week of mm -hmm. March and September. Mm -hmm. Roughly mm -hmm. how many sort of exhibitors come every time? Uh, we have up to about 100 exhibitors mm -hmm. coming from France, Sweden, mm -hmm. Belgium, mm -hmm. Germany, Hungary, Netherlands, of course, yeah. Denmark, mm -hmm. uh, UK, mm -hmm. uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Turkey. Uh, yeah. yeah, we have a, a mm -hmm. guy with pics from Turkey. Um, Luxembourg. I guess that's most of them. Yeah. yeah. Is it true to say it's mainly vintage and second hand, but there are still some yeah. new products? So, focus is really on vintage. Yeah. That's also where it started, but we have noticed that people want to see some newer stuff as well, mm -hmm. uh, also related to the price of course, or they even want to buy smaller accessories and go home with yeah. with something nice. So focus is on vintage, mm -hmm. uh, even if people have mostly newer guitars, we mm -hmm. always ask them, mm -hmm. well at least if you can bring one or two vintage mm -hmm. guitars with mm -hmm. you, just to keep up the spirit of the show, so that's yeah. what we try to do. Yeah. We also do vintage related stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's newer guitar straps, for example, but with a vintage look. Yeah. Or newer yeah. guitars that are made after a vintage style. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's what we're really trying to, to keep yeah. the focus on as much as possible. But it doesn't mean that you will mm -hmm. not find mm -hmm. newer stuff or even newer yeah. guitars. We have a few guitar builders as well. Yeah. 
So yeah. um, you never know, maybe we'll one day split them off and do a guitar builder show. That would be great. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> the, the other thing I wanted to ask you is about um, transport links. I mean, obviously everyone knows how to get to Amsterdam, skip on yeah. airport, but yeah. um, what are the recommended ways to get from Schiphol to here? Uh, yeah. Either by hire car or yeah. by public transport. Yes, it, it, it's actually quite easy to take mm -hmm. the train. Uh, mm -hmm. You can take the train and there's at least once an hour a train that goes all the way from Schiphol uh, mm -hmm. down to Veenendaal without mm -hmm. having to uh, change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it takes a little less than an hour. Okay. Uh, so it's even faster mm -hmm. than by car mm -hmm. and it's about like five or ten minute walk from here. Wow. The station. So yeah, we have yeah. a hotel on the other side of the road. So yes. even if you want to come the evening before and spend the night, uh, it's very easy. You and can just walk down to the, to the show next day. And if people were driving here, which which road would they take? Uh, from Amsterdam, they would first take the A2, mm -hmm. and then uh, in Utrecht they will move to the A12, yeah. and it's next to the highway, so Fantastic. it's really easy to find. Daniel, did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I missed an uh, exit. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's two exits, and this one is sort of... In no, the earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was great, we enjoyed seeing a bit more of uh, it. Some yeah. it <laughs> you have a range of things, you're saying vintage guitars, but there's also pedals, amps, yeah. all sorts of things. Yeah, uh, effect pedals, um, we had uh, lots of amps actually, mm -hmm. there were quite a number of exhibitors mm -hmm. with amps, both mm -hmm. vintage as well yeah. as new. Mm -hmm. um, uh, CDs, books. Mm. Guitar straps, picks, yeah. mm. pickups. Uh, so some people with handmade pickups. And yeah, things. strings, yeah. strings. Yeah. strings. Yeah. Uh, there was a guitar booth camp. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we, today we had a photographer here where mm. you could do for free mm. a photo mm. shoot with yeah. your most uh, mm. famous or mm. the guitar that you really yeah. love. That's really mm -hmm. cool. Uh, so we try to do some new things. And the building's great. It's nice and open, plenty mm -hmm. of space. Yeah. Refreshments, nice cafe sort of area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always get uh, good the, feedback on the food. And what, what's really nice. What's the entrance fee to get in? It's ten euros mm -hmm. for everybody over twelve years. Okay. If you're younger than, to, if you're together with an adult, you, you come in for free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very good. Going forward in the future, have you got plans to change, to expand, to have more shows, or how, what's the plans for the future? Yeah, I think f for now the two shows a year mm. are really sufficient, mm -hmm. specifically to cover the vintage stuff. Um, we're still growing, and uh, amazingly we're still growing, and mm -hmm. if we grow too much more then we will not fit into this, this building. So I was already trying to say a little bit if we yeah. if we're growing mm -hmm. too big yeah. because of a lot of additional mm -hmm. um, exhibitors wanting to join the show mm -hmm. and we're going to start losing the focus on vintage yeah. and maybe we need to split off and for example do a, mm -hmm. a show for guitar builders or just mm -hmm. for new guitars mm -hmm. yeah. uh, mm -hmm. we'll have to see what what that will to bring where that will mm -hmm. bring us yeah uh, great. but for now I think the combination mm -hmm. is really nice everybody mm -hmm. finds something that mm -hmm. they want yeah and I think the um, the, the biggest success of the show is not mm -hmm. just the guitars, mm -hmm. it's the atmosphere. Yeah. It is yeah. people really mm -hmm. wanting to be here to meet each other. Yeah. They, even the, the dealers, mm -hmm. they often make a deal and say, okay, mm -hmm. let's exchange mm -hmm. guitars at mm -hmm. Vintage Vayner now. Yeah. So a lot of dealing is happening even before the show opens. Yeah. Yeah. And other people are just here to meet friends, talk mm -hmm. guitars all day, have a great yeah. day. Yeah. And we usually need to kick them out at five o'clock. <laughs> uh, and they came in at ten. Yeah. Well, yeah. tell us about the prizes that you you had the yeah. best vintage guitar. We do two yeah. awards. Yeah. Uh, one for the most authentic vintage guitar. Okay. It needs to be real, original. Yeah. Ideally, original case most as well. Authentic. Yeah. Most authentic. Most yeah. authentic. Yeah. And the second award is for the most bizarre guitar of the show. <laughs> That doesn't have to be vintage, yeah. it can be new, it can even be an amp. It yeah. needs to be something crazy yeah, yeah. for one or the yeah. other reason. Yeah. And the 61 uh, SG Junior TV Yellow yeah. won the Won the vintage authentic, authentic. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. from Anders nice. from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jan, Jan Ackerman to give away the prize. Yes, Fantastic. yes, it can't be better. Does he come over here? Almost, oh, okay. almost. Okay. Yeah, uh, if he doesn't have anything else, he's, he's going to be here because he enjoys Fantastic. being at the show. Yeah. And he really very often helps us out with the, yeah. with the prizes. I've got one more question. Mm -hmm. 
What was the vintage guitar your dad wanted all those years ago? Yeah, it's a good question. I actually need to ask him this because I forgot. I was so young, I don't even remember what it was. It's your own again, you can I'm fake it. I'm almost sure it's a Fender because I, I, he really liked Fender guitars. Okay. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't really remember okay. which one. Okay, I think we should do it again. You should make it up. Oh, it's, a, it's a 59 Les Paul. We'll, 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 we'll film five different ones. Fender, yeah. Steve, yeah. Fender, yeah. Yeah, cover all And then, then we'll add it to the end when you find yeah. the answer. He has a Whole collection at home now yeah. in his studio. Yeah, um, nice. fantastic. So. You know, thanks very much for speaking with us and for having us at the show today. We've yeah. had a fantastic time. It's we? been brilliant. Thoroughly recommended. Yeah, we would definitely want to come again. Yeah, hopefully we're back welcome. next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really, really cool. great. Thanks very much indeed. You're welcome. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks very much. We're out. I've never seen the knobs go red before. Got a neck just like Hugh's gold one. Slim, really thin neck. The label was attached to the this. The Mr. Dealer's tag, yeah, the orange yeah. small tag, which was yeah. in a window yeah. similar as the, the guitar stand yeah. uh, in a window which was hiding a piece of the wood. And yeah. the, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the proof. Relic guitars, same color red, same year 59. It's perfect. So it's a good example for me just to put it next to it. Yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful 1953 gold top. Had a tough life by the looks of it. Big speed marks, change tail cream, head stop brake. Is this really blowing over it, do you think? Yeah, it does look like a bit of a blow over all over the back, I would say. None on the top. Snake there. Yeah. That's cool, looks like. Yeah, that's cool. Nice weight. Mojo X. Mojo X. If you had to play a 50s uh, gold top Gibson, it doesn't have an amazing neck profile. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Well, you see those with gold foil pickups on yeah. I don't know what these are. Yeah. I've seen them with the, yeah, the diamond gold foil. Yeah. Travis Beaton bass stolen was his favorite bass. So much more amazing than the yeah, yeah. It's just the cracking. Oh, yeah, the cracking's good. And these little spots in there. And who would do this if you refit it? I think it's, that's, that's why it looks authentic. Uh, it's five euro. <laughs> five euro, five euro. Great picture. Oh, sorry, mate. I was, I was, I was, I was looking at that uh, knob light, so to speak. Always worth looking at. That's the problem. Yeah. You'll be really. That's cool. That's cool. This was, uh, was bought by the guitar player for Hail and Blow. This is a Dutch yeah. rock and roll guy. Yeah. A lot of players.
Goed. Ik ga onder een plekje daar dan. Thank you very much for being part of the jury. En laatste prof dan. Thanks. En dan gaan we nu over naar de prijsuitdaging. There's no women here. Why are there only middle-aged men with bellies who can't play guitar? Exactly. We fit in perfectly. Yes. Should you? So, what, you what guitar? The guitar yes, I am what, enjoying the guitar show very much. What guitar did you like most? The Martin? Uh, D28 Martin from 1952. From oh, a French okay. shop. Paris. Europe. You know? <laughs> Europe. Europe. Europe, still Europe. Okay, now we're going to go down to a normal level. It's a Steely Dan t shirt, <laughs> by the way. So, hey. Some cool guitars Steely here. Dan Had a great team. time. Yeah? You? 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 Anybody with me? Oh, wait. Seriously, yes, you? <laughs> Sweet little half -life. Just can't get away from me. Lots of here. I wonder why. The P P13. Oh, yeah. oh, I Very nice. Opaque or opaque? Opaque. 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 Finish. Yeah. Unlike the earlier 50s. You yeah. see the grain. Exactly. You don't see the grain here. Would it, would it be um, more valuable if we added a second pickup to the neck? No, but it probably sounds better. <laughs> ah, yes. Guitar of the show. <laughs> Let's begin. 